people are mad. People are very angry at PUBG right now. Oh boy. Let's get into this. I think this is coming to console like tomorrow. So console players be warned. Yes, I'm talking about the region merge. If you guys didn't know, PUBG recently shut down a lot of servers and merged regions together. I'm in North America, and uh, they merged North America and South America. But what they actually did was just turned off the South American servers and said, you guys have to connect to North America now. Okay, so hit the like button, damn it. It's time to do that. Um, and get a coffee or something. Because this is crazy. So, what I thought before they did the merge, I thought that they would, they were going to actually merge the region. South America would keep their servers. North America would keep their servers. Everybody would have a decent ping, but we'd be able to play together. Of course, the ping might go up a little bit or a little down, depending on where you are. But I didn't know they were just going to take the PUBG servers in, in some of these countries and be like, we don't need this anymore. <laughs> Throw it in the trash. Oh my God. So people are upset because their ping is crap. So let's talk about that a little bit and then we'll read some feedback on the PUBG 32.1 server merge feedback Reddit post in the r slash pub battlegrounds subreddit. All right, so, oh, it's been crazy. Now, me personally, it has been good for me because apparently I live closer to the server now. My ping went from like 40 to 60 down to like 12 to 30. So I'm looking at my ping. I'm like, this is awesome. Everybody must be happy, but no. I, I apparently just live in a lucky area. And a common misconception is, how fast your internet is has to do with how good your gameplay is going to be. That is not true. Fast internet is for fast downloads and fast uploads. For example, I need a fast upload speed so that I can stream and upload videos to YouTube faster uh, in high quality. But this doesn't really affect my gameplay. There's nothing wrong with having fast internet, but it's more about the ping, the route to the server so wherever you live even if you have slow internet as long as it's not dropping packets and you live close to the server you're going to get a better ping and when i say server i mean the PUBG server you're going to get a better ping than somebody that might have internet 10 times fast as yours so yeah ping doesn't really have anything to do with your internet speed it's very loosely related to that it's more about the route that your internet provider gives you to the server and sometimes those routes are screwed up which is why people use vpns but basically if your routing is good and not screwed up by your isp if you live where i live in tampa florida and there's a PUBG server in orlando which is only a couple hours from me i'm gonna have a better connection than somebody that lives in north carolina which is hundreds like a thousand miles further north if that's the server they're connecting to so you can kind of see if people in south america and other countries where the servers were removed have to connect to a PUBG server that's potentially hundreds or even over a thousand miles away that's going to affect their ping I should have silenced my phone before I started this. But anyway, so ping is basically how fast your computer, your game, talks to the server or sends information to the PUBG server and gets information back. And that's what causes desync. If somebody's ping is really low and the other person's ping is really high and they have a gunfight, there can be some desync. And with PUBG, it can go in either way. Sometimes it, you actually get an advantage with bad ping. Most of the time, I would say like 85% of the time, you want the good ping. It's going to make the game better. It's going to make the looting better. It's going to make the gunfights better. But every now and then, if you have bad ping, you end up shooting another player. And for them, it seems like all your bullets hit them at once. 
this is desync. And this is why we have to watch the death cams before we just smash the report button every time a kill seems sus. Because sometimes it's just desync. And now there's been a lot more of that since the region merged. That's my only issue. Now, I feel so bad for those people living in regions where they went from having, you know, pretty good ping. I would consider pretty good ping anything under 100, you know. So if you're under 100 ping you're you're gonna be fine it's not that gonna be that good of a deal big of a deal now if you're under 50 ping you're doing excellent that's like if anywhere from zero ping to 50 ping is like prime time you're gonna do good you're not gonna notice any lag or anything at all unless it's on the other player's side not your side though so moving, assuming let's assume somebody had excellent ping, and then after the server merge, they went from having excellent ping, which is 0 to 50, to the 100 to 150 range. Now this is going to be noticeable. Is the game still playable? Yes. But you're going to notice things like picking up loot is slower, opening doors is slower, uh, getting into cars and s switching seats is slower. And when I say slower, it means the time you tap the button on your keyboard, controller, or mouse to perform the action, it takes that many more milliseconds for the action to happen. Now you might be like 150 milliseconds, that's nothing. But when you're playing a game where you can die in under 100 milliseconds, it's actually very important. How do I know this? One, I'm an IT guy, so I know I know about ping and crap like that. Um, but mainly because my region was pretty dead for solos. So for the past couple years, I've been using a VPN uh, to connect to, to uh, European servers and other servers. Sorry, let me turn my phone on vibrate here. There we go. I've been using a VPN to connect my computer uh, to European servers where I get an average of 120 to 180 ping. And I have got tons of chicken dinners on that ping, but I've also died so many times to desync. It's so annoying um, when I know I'm playing with high ping and sometimes that's the only reason I get killed. And I'm streaming and I try not to make excuses and be like, oh, it's only because of the high ping. But sometimes I can't help but say it because I'm so frustrated. So I can I totally understand. I know the game is still playable for the people whose ping just went through the roof, but I also understand um, the incredible frustration. You know, going from 50 ping to over 100 ping is a big deal, and and if and nobody should have to deal with that. And I myself have been dealing with that for two years, trying to keep playing solos in a region where PUBG solos are pretty much dead. Um, but now, since the region merged, everything's been great for me, but shitty for people that lost the servers. And I don't want that. Just because things, just because my ping went down, I'd rather have it go back to the way it was um, so that people don't quit the game. Uh, so many people are saying they left the game. Having said that, let's get into some of these uh, comments. So, PUBG devs are requesting player feedback on the changes brought with update 32.1. Um, let's see what people had to say on Reddit. For Australians, it's unplayable, uninstalled, as well as my seven other friends that play regularly with. So that's eight people in the first comment we read that quit playing PUBG because they got higher ping. Dang. New Zealand player here. We tried on Friday night and the pattern was inevitably, inevitably clear. It's no longer fun. You know no matter what, they will not go back on this. They will say the merge was favorable and they've seen no issues. Probably true. The whole community is up in arms about this. It's awful. South America had a healthy queue. Today, a lot of people from South America, including me, are leaving the game because of this fucking decision. If they take this decision to bring more people to NA, then they will fail. Uh, let's see. This guy says the game's gone to shit now. He's getting 100 plus ping. He notices it when he lands, loots, and instant headshotted by some tier 1 level 40 player. <laughs> oh, man. So he says uh, the servers for Australia and New Zealand are moved 6,000 kilometers away. That's going to be some serious ping. Oh, man. So my ping went, this guy plays where I live in North America. His ping went from 90 milliseconds to 35. And uh, he says it's awful to play, even though he has a better ping, because of the desync between players with 160 ping in South America. And even though he says this isn't their fault, he expresses how annoying it is. Ah, <sighs> man. 
And this guy says, ask for private slash community servers. That would be great if people could buy their own uh, PUBG servers like Battlefield used to do. And then just lots of people uh, basically talking shit about PUBG and Crafton. I don't even know if Crafton's the name of the company anymore. Anyway, you guys get it. There's there's even more comments. Man. Lag is insane. Cheating is rampant. It absolutely sucks. That's another thing that I see a lot. People complaining about the cheating still. Nothing's gotten better about that. This guy's in Sydney, Australia. His ping used to be 15. Now it's between 100 and 130. That's exactly what I was talking about a few minutes ago. How crazy it is getting used. The game feels different. Like I said, it's playable, but it takes a lot of getting used to to go from excellent ping to shitty ping. Went from 110 to 150. That's not too big of a deal. In Alaska, though, I mean, if you're playing in Alaska, you're never going to have good ping. That place is out. That place is so far away from where most of the major servers are. Uh, this guy is funny. It's hard to understand this decision. Whoever made this decision must be a single player or thinks that FPS games are similar to MMORPGs. Lags to get items. That's so true. Lags to shoot. Not true. Lags to crouch, lags to strafe, everything is lagging. That's the general feeling you get when your ping goes from being very good to very bad. Actually, 150 ping is not very bad. It seems very bad if, if you're not used to it, but try playing on 500 ping. That's when the game basically becomes unplayable. But I feel for all these people. I, I feel for them. I might still use my VPN to connect to Europe so I can go up against good players and... Uh, have matches without bots but for now the matches i've been playing in north america have been pretty good the matchmaking time has decreased a little bit not much but a little bit and i haven't run into any bots when i play during prime time hours which hasn't happened in years for me the server merge is a good thing but i really hope pubg rolls it back if so many people are going to quit pubg because their ping went up i feel for you guys i hope it gets better and i'd love to see the feedback from console players when this update goes live i think it's supposed to go live on the 17th i'm not remembering right it might have already gone live but let me know in the comment section what you guys have to say and please uh, leave a like on the video that helps a lot thanks for watching everybody i hope you have a good day and uh, i will see you on the battlegrounds